purchase it is down at the bottom of your screen. Invisibler sounds a little too good to be true because I think about all the areas of my really complexion that I'd love that permanent filter, that Insta Ready. And I feel like Paget, this is that delivery of that. It's absolutely the delivery. And don't worry, I've already put in that request to Dr. Murad. Um, I put, personally put it in myself. I said I need one for my entire body because that's exactly what it does. It's going to blur out and soften uh, any sort of imperfection in the skin. So even if, if it's a fine line, if it's roughness in the skin, it's gonna give the appearance like you have this flawless airbrush look. And as I'm talking, you can actually see I applied it to my hand. It's a nice, thick, uh, almost serum like consistency, um, and it's invisible. That's my favorite thing about this product is you apply it and there's no white residue. Uh, you're not worried if, uh, say, the paparazzi comes and starts photographing you on the red carpet uh, that you're going to have this white cast on your face. It is 100% invisible. That's why it's perfect for the red carpet, even prepping your skin for the red carpet. Makeup artists are obsessed with this. It gives that airbrush flawless canvas, and then you can just put on your foundation and it's even more airbrush than, than putting a little powder on. Well, it has the most interesting texture. It's almost like this gel that you see here that's so calming and soothing. And when you think about the fact that this has SPF built into it, I mean, you start to see just at the top how mattified my skin has become. So I'm gonna take this and start putting it on my forehead because going back to the idea of invisibler, <laughs> how many of you have like the multiple levels of fine lines and wrinkles? I have started mine. I've got three that stack just like a pretty little condo right there. And for this, to be able to take your ring finger and just start blending this in, is wonderful because going back to the idea, Paget, that you're not layering and layering and layering, this is one simple step that includes your SPF that kind of gives you that mattified look that's like the magic eraser. You're a, a magic eraser, I love that. It <laughs> is your magic eraser. And you are following the rules just perfectly, Courtney, because you're applying it on top of uh, my favorite makeup line, I'm not gonna lie, yes. um, but uh, it can be applied right on top of makeup for a little touch up. With SPF, the rule is you wanna make sure you reapply. And this is broad spectrum SPF 30. And if you're indoors all day, it's it's not necessary to keep apply, reapplying. But if you're outside, if you're being active, you wanna make sure you're touching up. So even if you have makeup on, it's actually just gonna help accentuate what you already have on. It's gonna give you that flawless airbrushed look like Courtney's doing right now. This is, this is the area that bothers me the most because as I start aging, like you can start counting the number of pores that you have in each year, they increase by 10%. And again, like there's nothing really on the market that it's like, okay, how do I decrease pore size? How do I not put a million products on my face? Well, again, going back to the basis of natural beauty and whole beauty, which makes this brand up, I'm putting it on my nose so that I get that filter, so that I get that evenness that again, blurs that away. So the focus is on that happy, healthy complexion, but yet you still have that UVA, UVB protection, which is so huge. And I'm so happy that this is clear because how many of us feel like we go and put on SPF and you're like, okay, do I go up two shades in my foundation or do I just do I just go up the one? Because either way I look like I feel sick. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely look sick. You look glowy and fabulous. Well, thank you. Uh